The DWX 53DC can be moved with a pallet jack or a trolley as shown. Use a sharp knife to remove the plastic wrap, the straps and the tape. This diagram on the box shows the layout of the packaging. Open the box and remove the top cardboard sheet, then the two top inserts. Take out the three accessory boxes. Take out the two large cardboard inserts. Take out the two cardboard side sheets. Lift up the box and fold it flat for storage. Keep all the packaging together in a dry place. Remove the tape and the plastic and foam sheets. Lift the mill with four people. Do not lift from the door frame. In the video, we have our hands on the door frame, but are only holding it gently. Open the accessory boxes and remove the contents. Make sure everything is present. There are enough stickers for 100 adapters. Six normal disc adapters are included. One open edge adapter is included. The angled surfaces allow cutting tool access. One calibration jig is included. Take the 3mm hex driver and remove the torque adapter. In the milling chamber, remove four screws from the blue shipping bracket. Remove the shipping bracket and store it in a safe place. Use the red 0.6 newton meter torque adapter and replace the four screws. Remove the torque adapter again, then remove the shipping bracket from the disc adapter chamber. Loosen the three screws from the spindle cover. Removing the screws is not necessary. Slide the cover up and off the screws, then turn to one side for easy removal. Remove three screws from the lower bracket and two screws from the upper bracket. Keep all the brackets and screws in a safe place. Replace the spindle cover and tighten the three screws. Use the built-in drawer to keep the accessories. Loosely install the two regulator screws. Place the regulator on the screws behind the washers. Use the red torque adapter to tighten the screws. Install the short air line between the regulator and the mill. Push the line in all the way. Install the air supply to the regulator. Lift the knob on the regulator Turn clockwise to increase the pressure to 0.4 MPA, then push the knob down. Open the extractor box. Carefully remove the accessories and documents. Remove the extractor from the box. 
pay attention to the new cable design. Insert the extractor cable to the mill and extractor. Insert the provided power cable into the mill and main socket. Insert the provided USB cable into the mill and PC or tablet. Insert the extraction hose into the extractor and secure. Insert the extraction hose into the mill. Plug in and power the extractor. Download and install vPanel and the driver. Power on the mill. Open vPanel, select the DWX 53DC, select settings, maintenance, then disk changer run-in. Click OK. Wait for the machine to finish. Click OK. Click Settings, Maintenance, Spindle Run-In, click OK. Then wait for the machine to finish. Then click OK. Click Settings, Maintenance, call it Maintenance, OK. Then wait for the machine to finish. Take the collet tool and put it on the 0.3 Newton meter adapter. Insert it into the collet, then turn it to make sure the collet is tight. Close the door, then wait for the mill to finish. Click OK. Click Automatic Correction. Wait for the next screen to appear. Open the milling chamber. Clean the spindle and the disc holder with the supplied cloth. Close the milling chamber and press OK in vPanel, then wait for the machine to stop. Clean the automatic correction jig thoroughly, then place it in any of the disk slots. Clean the disc holder again, then close the door. Clean the detection pin. Then place it in tool position 15. Clean the tool sensor and the calibration ring. Click OK in vPanel, click OK again and wait for the machine to finish. Click OK in vPanel. Remove the automatic correction jig. And close the door. Loosely install grub screws into tool collars 
using the 1.5 millimeter hex driver. Carefully insert each tool into a collar. Use the tool positioning jig as shown. Visually, keep the top and bottom of the tool inside the windows. Tighten the grub screw with the 0.3 Newton meter torque adapter. Place the tools in the tool holders, being very careful not to break them as the magnet pulls the tool to the side. ZPB-100D in position 5, ZPB-50D in position 4, ZPB-30D in position 6. The mill is now ready for use, or you can move on to manual correction for more accurate milling results.